Hello and welcome back. I think I've forgotten to uh, write the Discord message. Oh yeah, there it goes. Okay. Is that not working? Hold on. Also, uh... Yeah, okay. So here's where we were. Now, uh... There we go. Okay. So when we last left off, um, we had just obtained the Masamune. It's probably in our inventory, isn't it? Broken blade and broken hilt. They show up in the um, in the weapons. That's interesting. The useless hilt of a legendary sword. Crispy Croco, thank you for the streak. Okay. Um... The sword said the name Melchior on it. And we know of a Melchior. He lives near Medina Village in 1000 AD, 400 years after the era we're trying to use it in. Why is there magic in you? Magic using humans were supposed to have died out long ago. Don't worry about it, man. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're back again. Come to see my collect- This sword, it's- The Masamune. How? How did you get this? Why would your name be engraved on that sword? Hmm. That is a very long story. That is the story you came to hear, is it not? Of course. Tell us about the Masamune. Can you reforge it? I could, were it possible for us to get our hands on some of the Dreamstone from which the sword was made. Dreamstone? Where can we get that? That that track that plays, uh, we'll hear it a lot later in the game, but uh, and and it's related to him. But yeah, it's nowhere to be found anymore. It was a glittering red stone, once valued even more than gold. Unfortunately, that was long, long ago. Longer, even, than you could imagine. Well, let's just say I doubt you'll ever find any. But if you should, I'll be more than happy to repair the Masamune. Keep it with you until then. I think he has anything new. Yeah, no. We're already equipped with all of his stuff. He'd be surprised. So he's not gonna tell us the story, is he? Yeah. No, he's, he's not. <laughs> the story is, go get the red stone. <laughs> Good story. Um, yeah, excuse me, I'm gonna go back into your closet. If that's cool. What's up, Sweezen? Went a little overboard in the zoom in button there. Now I can even see the individual pixels. 4K res. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the this is the DS version, um, which is why that that screen is so small. It's because that's the bottom screen where not much is happening that you guys need to see. Um, 
I even turned on the status bar so you can see the health of the characters without having to look at the tiny numbers. Um, okay. Well, uh, this guy knows all about time. Dreamstone? Yes, I remember that word. It's an incredibly ancient mineral, if I recall. Have you considered searching for some in the prehistoric era? Let's, uh, let's take Mayo with us. Why not? <laughs> this song. I mean, you know, if anybody's gonna be good at searching for minerals, it's probably him, right? He's got, like, sensors and stuff. Well, we do have this 65 million BC portal we haven't used yet. Let's, uh, let's go that way. What are those? This life form is most perplexingly unusual. It appears to possess both human and dinosaur traits. Oh boy. Well, can they stand up to a supersonic spin? They sure can't. Learned Aura Beam and Cyclone Sweep. Yes, that was Bylan actually, Suisen. Uh, Bylan made that for my birthday. Uh, we've got a stream ending soon as well. Yeah. What should we do, Redhead? <laughs> Look at her go. Goodness, she's tough. Her combat capabilities far exceed those of ordinary humans. Oh, they're coming our way! She knocked it down to four. It's really funny because, you know, with this dual tech, we can just we can defeat any number of them as long as they're all on the same screen. But let's just pretend we were outnumbered and that was really scary. What do you want? This female is in a severely agitated state. Provocation is inadvisable. Ah! <laughs> she slams Red against the wall. Redhead? You strong. What name? Redhead name? Good name. Me name? Me. Well... Oh. I forgot to... This is Dama, of course. Oh, here, Duke, enjoy these five <laughs> treats from me. Going back in time to find an ancient mineral isn't necessarily as logical as it may seem. I guess because it would all be dug up in the future? Sweet, and thank you for the five stream streak. Duke is, is thrilled. You can see they're bursting with joy. Me, Dama. Dama like strong man, so Dama like redhead. Get away from her, redhead! <laughs> It may need to be that ancient to be that mineral. Oh, that's true. You strong too. Dama like strong person. Man, woman, both like. Oh dear. <laughs> She's inspecting the robot. You strange person, but strong too. That is because I'm a robot. Robot? What robot? Dama not no robot. Robot is a humanoid machine constructed by humans. What do you say? No say word, Dama not know. Dama head go boom. Redhead, where from? Um, how can we explain? An explanation cannot be formulated within the bounds of her understanding. We came from many days ahead of tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha, you funny. Dama like funny person. You come village, talk and eat, dance, drink, fun. Thank you, but we can't. We need to find some dreamstone. Stone? Stone everywhere. Here, there, village. Dama give you many, many stone. Ioka village this way. Follow Dama. Okay. 
<laughs> she jumps up onto the higher level. Ah, the Berserker Ring. For auto battles. Okay, so what did we get? We got Cyclone Sweet Spin right at their enemies. That was actually pretty fun. Um, wait, why is that only hitting these? Oh, because it, it's on it's on where Robo is. Yeah. Oh well. It's just like ice one of them. You can have all the rocks you want, just go party. That's not how it works. No street goodies for us. Leave your little pal back there. No, I think I I think I'd go broke and uh, Dooku get very bad. <coughs> Having an attack that hits all enemies on screen is very good. Seems it doesn't hurt these dudes very much though. Physical attacks works better for uh, the kill wallas. <laughs> like like killer koalas. I don't think I ever questioned that as a kid. Just, just doing a dance around a rock. Yeah, as, as <laughs> um, I always thought that was funny because it's like, you know, oh, we're trying to, you know, we're looking for the special rock, the Dreamstone. She's like, oh, whatever, there are rocks everywhere. And it's like, no, we need this specific rock. Like, wait. <laughs> you reptite friend, I beat you up. No, I'm, I'm not. Drink happy water, drink, feel good. I don't know what that is, but it restored our HP. Reptite scales, cold blood, hard to beat. You wear funny skins. You want to? You want to see pretty stone? Redstone, Chief has. Yeah, redstone. That's what we're looking for. Chief hut north of village. All right, thank you. Very informative. Uh, we'll go with this one. Good. Redhead, come. Night soon. Finish ready for party. Redhead, this way. Listen, Dama. We make new friend. A strong man, Redhead. Redhead friend, Soraya of Mayo. Ooga! Now dance, Babonga. <laughs> it's supposed to be alcohol. <laughs> it's it's very nutritious alcohol, I guess. Redhead, eat, drink, dance, sing. Come on, Redhead, let's have fun. <laughs> Is this the most appropriate use of our time in the current situation? I don't think you can, uh... Yeah. Um, if you bring... If you bring Sloke to this, she starts, like, brewing something. <laughs> This fluid contains immeasurable impurities. This is wonderful, isn't it, Redhead? Yeah, look at the girls chatting. <laughs> booga booga munga meeple, dance with wind people. <laughs> so yeah, this is the uh, this is the prehistoric song that we uh, that we heard at the fair. Good music. We want passed down many many generations. Yeah, it worked. I'll dance too. <laughs> Redhead, try drink. This only special time drink. Good drink. Named Skull Smash. Next day, Skull feel like Smash. Now that's alcohol. Ioka Village fight Reptite. Leader name Azala. Azala, very smart. All in Ioka Village fight. No fight person go to Ruba Village. Always run from Reptite. Always hide. Not nowhere village. Azula want to destroy Ioka, the river, both. But no, Dama no lose. Only when Dama dead, stop fight. No more talk that. Today meet Redhead, good day. Eat, drink, dance, sing. What, what, what's your deal, man? You not Ioka person. Why Dama give party? Strange. Okay, 
Well, what a, what a Debbie Downer. Come on, Redhead, let's dance. Sure. <laughs> oh my god, the laugh. I love that the uh, Redhead's eyes when he laughs, they go like, like little dots. It makes him so creepy. I can just spin. One of my buttons is just spin. Okay. All right, that's enough of that. What about how are you? Okay. That's with mountain people. Can I leave? No, I can't leave. <laughs> Redhead. Red rock, look for this rock? Rare red rock. Have rock means strong person. Dama most strong Ioka village, so Dama rock. <laughs> Dama rocks! Redhead want, redhead challenge Dama. Win Dama, give. Redhead challenge Dama. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can, sure. Dama go get more skull smash. Party now, so drink. Redhead and Dama have battle to drink more. Uh-oh. We start now. Push A button many time. Look, look at his eyes, too. Again, they're little dots. He, he's he's in over his head. This poor kid. Brap. No more, redhead. Dama lose. Give rock. Redhead, drink good. Drink one more to strong redhead. Pour. Maybe too much drink. Or I'll just, like, destroy it. Good, good morning. It appears that liquid induces peculiar behavior in humans. Morning, Redhead. Wasn't last night fun? <laughs> no. What made all these footprints? It, it's gone! The gate key, it's gone! <laughs> it is probable that these tracks were produced by the perpetrator. Attempting to enter a gate without the gate key would involve an unacceptable degree of risk. Redhead, let's go find Dama. <laughs> She's sleeping. Please and redeem, take your vitamin. Thank you, Sweetson. You have to, like, interact with her a few times. This is her theme. Oh, oh Red had early awake. Ugh. Uh, too much skull smash. We wish we could let you sleep, but a valuable thing was stolen from us. 20 minutes before stream even starts. Can't believe I got it this time. Nice work. You were vigilant. Today you were first. Good job. What? Stole? Must be Reptite. Burp. Dom Redhead go with Dama. We find bad Reptite. Who else come? Alright. Let's do, uh... Redhead, Dama, and Mayo. Seems like a fun group. Maybe village person see. We go ask. Redhead, come. <laughs> okay, nothing here. I don't think you can go... Yeah. <clears throat> the Laruba village is somewhere in this forest, but... Can't find it just yet. Later it will become easier to discover. Oh, you come see me. What do you have? Fang, petal, horn, feather. Give me six. Three each. Two kind. I give you good, strong thing. What you give me? You have no thing. No thing, no trade. Trade your shiny stone? This guy just wants gold. Um, 
He doesn't sell anything good though, just consumables. Go hunt hunting range. Get petal, fang, horn, feather. Win rain. Rare monster come out. Rare one. Good hunt. Lightning stun dinosaur, you know? I, I know now. Um, Dama doesn't use weapons, she just has fist. Uh, the, you will never get a better weapon for her. Unless you level her up, like... It, it, once she reaches, like, near max level, she gets, like, the bronze fist and then the iron fist. <laughs> I think. She's also got the power scarf. Her strength plus four, currently. Um, she starts with very good equipment, um, as people usually do. They, they like to uh, include, w when they add someone to your party, they make sure they're nice and strong. You can see level 18 here, and she's got good equipment. They all come with like a... Um, She's the fastest character. She does have 13 base speed. That's pretty incredible. Did this version... Um, I can't remember. Did this version fix the speed glitch? Um, speed caps out at 16. And um, if a character's... Um, if a character's speed stat was like naturally at 15, and you added a plus 2 speed, it, like accessory to them, then you took it away, their speed would then be 14. They could, like, permanently lose speed, um, if you, if you tried to go over and then unequipped them. Thank you, Sriracha. Hope you're having a nice break. I wonder if this version fixed that, because that's really annoying. But, I mean, it's easy to, it's easy not to do if you know about it. This chapter is called Footprints Follow. <laughs> Misi reptites come from meeting grounds. Go south, forest maze. Forest maze. Here we go. We love a good maze. Kino! What you do. Didn't even know that bug existed. Yeah, it was it was uh it was very upsetting for me to discover as a kid. <laughs> Say now Sorry Dama. Kino take redhead stuff. Why take? Kino like Dama best. Dama say like redhead. Kino mad. Madam Dama, violence is never the best solution. Kino know why Dama hit? Dama no like Kino. No, Dama like Kino best. So Dama no want Kino do bad thing. Bad thing, not good. Wise words from the village chief here. Dama. Kino sorry, Dama. Kino sorry, redhead. Give thing back, redhead. No have. Reptites take. Reptite? Where reptite go? Run trees there. Dama go. Kino go back village. Dama gone. Kino protect Ioka. Okay, Dama. Kino man. Dama die. Dama to have baby. Then Kino chief. I don't think it can happen in that order. Madam Dama, my apologies for implying you may have been out of control. Follow right tight. Get redhead thing. She doesn't even know what it is. She's just like, whatever it is that you need, let's get it. I love the Oonga Boonga music. One guy? Okay, two guy? Three guy.
we need to get Dama some tech points so she can uh, so we can learn the dual techs that we have with her. Nice, good crit. All right, then you can cross this. Another mid potion, a mid ether. You can have stocked on consumables. Uh oh. He's a big monkey man. Bow bow. Bonk. Forget this. Athenian water. It's so much funnier than just calling it a revive. Robo, could you not go as far away from the enemies as possible so we could maybe use your uh, use your attack? Lightning work on this guy? I can't remember. No. <laughs> He's got the the extendo fist. Oh wait, actually, can't I just do it with? I think if you do it with redheads. No, nope, it, it only does it on Robo's position, even if you just try to starting the attack with Red Hat. Also, kind of an interesting thing, um, they avoid having party members be, like, essential um, by giving a bunch of the party members, um, like, an incidental heal move. Like that one. Um, Dama has Kiss, which lightly heal ally and restore status. Robo has the Cure Beam, um, Frog has the Slurp, and so that way, um, whatever three party members you want, you'll probably have a heal in there somewhere. So that's kind of nice. You actually get a choice regarding your your party members, or has it been the illusion of one? Ow! get lost in this maze trying to figure out where's the like best way to go funky man <laughs> that thing made a really scary noise for how like cute it is <laughs> little I love the little like choo Yeah, that wasn't great. Maybe Shadow works? I think Shadow doesn't work against uh, this little guy. I discovered that. Okay, yeah, th these guys are like highly resistant to magic. It's time to just beat them up. Cleave is an awesome attack. Um, it does two times damage. Like two times uh, red's base damage just as an attack. It's also a, a really good a dual tech ingredient. Okay, I think this is where I'm supposed to go. So 
Let's head back to this fork real quick and see what was up here. Wait, no, is this where I'm supposed to go? Oh no, I think it leads back around. Yeah, because you can go up that vine. Okay. Hey, we did it! We made it out of the forest maze. Let's uh let's celebrate with a little shelter. More Oonga Boonga music. I think these guys are resistant to shadow. Let's, um, let's try it, see. Time for the, yeah. <laughs> GG Forest Maze, now try Maze Cave. Oh no, they are not. Supersonic spin. Saving the day once again. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. <laughs> I love that you spin while falling. Maybe we should give, uh... I feel like we should give Robo the speed up. It's like the sight scope on right now. I think I forgot to change equipment. He definitely needs to speed up to to hang with the big boys. <laughs> um. Yeah, he has like an iron suit too. Here's the speed belt. There we go, from six to eight. <laughs> That's a little better. Um, and then the golden helm. Uh, yeah, I don't think they can wear the, the berets are only for the ladies. Oh, we do have another golden suit, so hold on. There we go. Okay. Good. How am I doing? Uh, Sloke, we, we left you behind at the, um... You're hanging out with Sriracha at the end of time. Okay, here we go. Lightning stun all dinosaur. So this guy, you can see, he is very tough. But... Hit him with some lightning. His defense is lowered. And you can wail on him. I always thought this little texture looked like an evil face, like, carved into the wall. Uh, oh, here we go. As a kid playing this, did you understand most of combat or just brute force through it? Um, as a real little kid, I eventually found that there were cheats on the emulator I was using, and, um... <laughs> And just used Luminaire for like every fight, um, but as I as I like replayed the game, I I, I understood like weaknesses and such. Uh oh, the guy's a dinosaur guarding him.
I'm not even sure I would understand it all today without you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and that's kind of the thing. It's it's not, uh, you know, like a lot of games, you understand more when you replay it. A high ether. I don't know if that was worth it. How about this one? Maybe this one's worth it. He has a guarding treasure chest. They call the, the dinosaur cops. Stone Helm, that actually is worth it. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, the, these stone helmets from 65 million BC are better than the, the golden helmets forged by, like, blacksmiths in 600 AD. Don't ask me how that works. The answer, of course, is it's a video game. Get a new enemy, the moss back. <laughs> the bow bow can throw the moss back. I always loved how interactive enemies are in this game. You know, they'll they'll like attack each other sometimes to trigger counter attacks. They'll like do dual attacks with each other. They'll throw each other in this case. <laughs> oh wait, uh, let's just do this. Let's just do some smooches. Smooches all around. Smooch yourself. Smooch the robot. Okay, good. Good smooching. Supersonic spin. I don't remember if the moss backs are resistant to shadow. I don't. I don't, I don't know a lot of enemies' uh, weaknesses. Kind of just got a trial and error. It. Okay, that's fair. I killed both of them. Nice. Double level up there. That guy. And hit him. They just been to clear out the mooks. And wail on him. Roundillo kick and drill kick. Nice. Shocked! <laughs> What's up, Cookie Man? Uh, we didn't go in this room. Maybe something up here? Up all these ladders? Don't mind me, Mr. Gorilla Man. Oh, that's just how to get back. Wow! Jeez! Okay. Um, if you let them, like, drill holes, you can get to, like, other parts of the, uh, the area. I think we've already been here. Hold on. Oh, cannot go in hole.
It like depends on where they drill the hole in the upper area. I don't know, I don't know if it's actually worth going back for though. It's probably just like a high potion or something. Let's try a roundillo kick. Nice. I love that like that like dragon kick uh, sprite that she's got. It's pretty great. Revenge bedtime procrastinating. I said, I've done nothing but work, sleep, work, sleep. Yeah. I haven't been sleeping very well lately. I've been waking up a bunch in the middle of the night and just not getting comfortable. <clears throat> what in the world? Could those filthy apes have crafted something disadvanced? Azala! And so the hairless apes arrive. Ah, oh, and these new ones appear cut from a finer cloth than Dama. Perfect, this should make things easier. Tell me, apes, what is the purpose of this device? Make sure to flip your mattress. No, I don't think we have. Tell Azala about the gate key. Uh... Nah. I suppose you need some motivation. So be it. Come, Nisbel. This song is great, and we'll hear more of it later. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's so buff! Well, lightning stun all dinosaur, you know? And lowered by electric shock. to sing you a lullaby. I don't know if that specifically would work. Let's try a, dr uh, a drill kick. There we go. Nice. The rotational energy. Uh oh, electric discharge! So he stores up the electric energy we give him and then gives it all back. Um... We don't have any, uh, any AoE heals right now. If someone started singing to me, I'm still trying to sleep, I'd get super angry. Yeah. Doesn't sound, uh, doesn't sound great. Oh, I, did, I meant to do the dual tech, oh well. Nice, good crit. Oh man, he uses that so often. Ouch. Kiss the robot. Uh, I maybe shouldn't have used this right now. We still gotta heal up. We're good. Yeah, if you try to attack him before he's stunned. Oh yeah, you just get nothing. Ow. 
I got this Chrono Trigger. It's going all right. We're getting we're getting our butts kicked a little bit by this boss because I don't have uh, any AOE heals. trick is to just kill him before he can counterattack you. Uh, don't die, Redhead? Okay, we're good. Oh, we're, we're kind of good, except for that we're very not good. Yeah, I gotta stun him so he doesn't hit us. Do another drill kick. Get a cure beam in here. Oh my god, how much health does this guy have? One more. Mayo down. Oh, Mayo down by just a little bit. Uh oh. Oh no, is that two people down? He's the, the tiny AoE attack? Oh no. That's awesome, yeah. You, you gotta love the, the mini game that's like more important than the, than the main game. Okay. No, don't do that. Oh my god. Okay, okay. It's fine. Can't do anything right now, I need to lightning him first. Rocket punch. Oh my god, he was that close. He wow, okay. He was almost dead. And he was just murdering me. She was just watching the whole thing. The apes beat Nisbel! Give thing back, redhead, now! Very well, you've won today. But know that we reptites are the rulers of this world. We'll not surrender it to you, filthy apes! No damage detected. The gate key appears operational. That's all I come anytime! Dama no. <laughs> <laughs> Too much skull smash. Redhead, leave? No, redhead. Dama, no fun. Thank you so much for everything, Dama. We had a great time with you. Sorry, redhead. Kino, try be strong now. Even more strong, redhead. Come again, redhead. Have party. Drink, eat, dance, fight, fun! <laughs> Come again, redhead. Mayo Soraya, too. Alright, well, unfortunately, Ayla is not going to join us uh, on our journey. She has more important things to attend to, understandably. Um, do we have... do we have Thing? We do, we have Thing. Um, what can we get? Stone Arm. Uh, hold on. Get a ruby gun. What 
Let me guess. Get a ruby vest. The ruby vest was pretty good. Wait, can you? You totally can just like steal the ruby vest off Ayla, right? Just like <laughs> put it in your inventory. And then when she leaves the party, she won't take it. <laughs> um, all right, let's get the weapons, why not? Get a stone arm. And a ruby gun. Nice. A stone launching attack arm. And the ruby gun. A pistol that focuses light through a ruby. So yeah, um, also they they uh, they have just created a, a robot arm and a gun here in 65 million BC. Um, again, we'll, we'll just, you know, we're just not really going to think about that too hard. to drink the nice water that makes you feel good. Good crit, Sriracha. We got learned Robo Tackle and Ice Tackle. Alright, here we go. Jump down. <laughs> this one's in the, in the, like, in the air. Ah, Dreamstone. I had forgotten how beautifully it shone. There's a man who knows the secret to working that stone. He resides near Benita, a village of fiends. What's up, your last breath? Now, the Masamune. We heard of Crimson Desert. Uh, no. What's that? Also, because the portals at the opposite ends, like, uh, connect to each other, I love imagining that inside this guy's cabinet is a portal to 65 million BC. It's like, <laughs> he's just keeping it in this cupboard. Well, uh, we got it. Dear me, you truly found Dreamstone. Yes, that will do quite nicely. With that, I can make the blade whole again. But first, the Masamune, and now this Dreamstone. How in the world did you... No, I suppose it does not matter. Make yourselves at home. This will take some time. I will assist you. Uh, funny enough... If you, um, normally, um, if Slowkey's in the party, she'll assist, and then if she's not, Robo will assist. Um, but it is possible to have Robo assist and Slowkey provide commentary if you let Robo go and then switch the party to have Slowkey in it. Um, it's like a, kind of a rare thing, so let's do it. Alright then. It looks like it will be quite difficult to repair. Not interrupt me while I'm trying to read! New game. Gotcha. Like an open world kind of thing. 
Of course, the Dreamstone must be refined if we are to repair the Masamune, but that is not all. The blade itself must be activated. Well, you work on the Dreamstone, I will take care of the sword. Understood. I will prepare the tools. You just leave this to me. Uh, this is Chrono Trigger. One of the, one of the best RPGs ever made. To reawaken the sword, I must first breathe life back into its shattered remains. Life? Alright, it's done. Could you bring me the Dreamstone? Understood. Alright, let's get started. Sorry to keep you waiting. There it is! Ooh! Behold the Masamune in all its glory! So this is the Masamune. It's producing some kind of strange energy if I could only study it for a little while. If you were expecting lesser work, you shouldn't have come to me! Okay, Redhead, we should get this back to Vex! sword can be used as a tool for ending lives or as one for saving them. It all depends on who wields it. Be sure you wield yours for the proper reason. Um... I have a few shelters, because why not? Still have ten mid potions, so that's good. What luster is that the Masamune? In the Middle Ages, there is one who fated, who is fated to slay Magus with that blade. Can none among you wield it? We gotta go give this to its rightful owner. Oh yeah, I guess I can check uh, who's who's been getting the most screen time with, uh, with levels. So yeah, let's, um, let's try it back in the party. And... No, uh... There it is, there's Truce Canyon. There's sadly an unavoidable, like, level one fight here. Oh yeah, I gotta change equipment. That's the one annoying thing about this game, is that, uh, equipment is per party member, and so when party members leave, they take all the equipment that was on them, uh, until you get them back, and then, um, uh, they won't be equipped with, like, the best gear uh, when you switch them out, because the best gear will be on the people that you just switched out. You gotta, like, change it, yeah. Uh, actually... Not bad, because I think... Yeah, uh, the Taban Vest is only for slow gay. And we don't have any better helms, so... Yeah, he's got the golden helm now. Give her a better, um... A better accessory. There we go. Just give her magic, because uh, her basic attack pretty much sucks. We're, we're 
basically never going to want to use that. Oops. <laughs> this guy's just like playing ball with like a living dude. Alright, not much has changed. in 600 AD, we were last here. Oh my god. Oh stop that, you bad boy! Oh that's right, we have to get into a fight while he's on screen. Oh my god, I screwed it up! <laughs> I forgot, I forgot, you don't just like go talk to him, you have to go get in a fight while he's in the on screen. I can't believe I screwed up the uh, thing again. Alright, anyway, let's check out Ice Tackle. Ice Tackle is pretty cool. Boom! 7.35. Not bad at all. Attacks. All right. Got a laser spin then. Yeah, that's a little better. Come on, come on. Hold on. We're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna try and find the new a couple more times, okay? Just, just a couple. Just, just a, just a couple more times. Cause that, oh, yeah, okay, there he is. Oh, what? Wait, he always goes away if you uh, if you get in the top. Okay, so I guess you have to engage the middle fight. Attack him. Oh! Slurped up his HP. Here we go. Ice Sword is really cool as well. Okay, well, in that case, I guess, uh. We're gonna miss two news in a row. I didn't know. I, I thought this uh, this fight up here would be easier to get into. Is uh, there'd be less enemies. I think if you. Or is it always two frogs? It might always be two frogs and a snake. Which makes sense, because you, you know. The the edible frogs. You wanna you wanna see that if you if you hurt the snake without killing it, it'll like eat one of the frogs to um, to replenish its HP. Okay, just just a, just a couple more tries. I'm definitely not just gonna sit here and and do this until the ten percent chance uh <laughs> exceeds and I get the new. Just a just like a few more, just to see if we can get it, and then I'll then I'll go. Oh my God, there he is. Okay. Okay, I think this kills all of them. All right, now it's it's new time. Nice. 
nice. He has more than a thousand health. Oh man. Okay. As long as you just keep healing the person he attacked, um, then he, he kind of can't kill you. Because he can only kill you if you're at exactly 1 HP. Alright, there we go. That was worth it. Here we go. You've come again. This sword. No, it could not be. The Masamune? I must ponder this turn of events. You may remain here for the night. Let's go ahead and sleep on my floor. I only have the one bed. Cyrus, you're leaving, aren't you? I am. It's long past time we reclaimed the badge from the Frog King, and I need to see that sword with my own eyes. Cyrus, this kingdom has need of you. Lean and I need you as well. See that you return. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall, come what may. Well then, by your leave. <laughs> Look at all the soldiers. Sir Cyrus! On behalf of the knighthood, we wish you a safe journey and godspeed. My brothers. I trust the kingdom's protection to you. See that she is kept safe from our enemies. They all look up to him. I love his color scheme, too. Pardon the delay. Let us be on our way. Glenn, you be careful, too. <laughs> be well, your majesty. Get that, like, ruby dagger. So, you seek the hero's badge, knight of the kingdom of men? Come and take it then, if you can! Grr. That is what I mean to do. Nirvana strike! Ah! I'm beaten! Filthy badge! Do not think I'll forget this! <laughs> I love that he even has, like, his own special moves. And there's also just a girl there that's just unexplained. I guess he's just... She's just part of the adventuring party, or maybe she was captured by the Frog King? Ah! Glenn, watch out! Cyrus, your sword! The Masamune! <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing! Ugh, you've not bested me yet. Cyrus, I... I'm done for. Listen to me, Glenn. I'll hold them here. Use that chance to escape. But Stay, and they'll only kill us both. Go, Glenn! Hadn't you better worry about yourself, Cyrus? I do not think you've the time to be concerned with the well-being of others. This is it, Glenn. Go! Ah! Oh my god, just slapped him out of the way. Cyrus! Run. Run, Glenn! The Queen. Take care of Queen Lean. I beg. Cyrus! Cyrus! No! Burnt him to a crisp. Huh. What's the matter? Are you not going to try your luck? Uh. <laughs> like a scared little frog with no pond to jump into. How about it, Lord Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Very well. No act of defiance goes unpunished. No! Uh, ah! Ah! <laughs> That's more like it, you spineless wimp!
ten long years have passed. Have I the strength? Oh, Cyrus. Ten years since that. Awaken, redhead. I do not know how far my skills will carry me, but I will put them to the test. Let us go to Magus's keep. His strength is no small thing. Do you understand the odds we face? We must do it for the future. The good guys always win! Alright. Um... Rock's theme, of course, is, uh, is super good. Who should we, who should we take with us? Let's do this party. This party seems fun. I rely on Aura World too much, so... <laughs> oh my god, the new! <laughs> yes! Enormous kabunk that happens. Um, X strike and a cure beam. Oh boy. Oh, we're doing a lot less damage. That's okay. An X strike and a cure beam. efficient. Oh well, I'm gonna keep doing it. Oh, got him. We learned Frog Launcher and Triple Attack Triple Tech. Alright, so that's our very first Triple Tech. Using all three party members' turns for one huge attack. Glow, thank you so much for the raid! And Mutant Tiffic, thank you for the follow. Hello, Glow, how was your stream? Can we get a shout out and chat for Glow? Actually, I think. I'll do it. Easy peasy, there we go. River Tales Stronger Together. I have not heard of that one. <laughs> Unlinks your Chrono Trigger. Oh no. What's up, prepared using fruit juices? Good name. I wonder if you can. Can you go back to the castle? <laughs> the great hero has appeared. No, okay, I, I guess this has not changed. Did a couple co op indie demos today. Nice, anything good? Diamonds in the rough? Frog! Yep. Wow, yeah, they're still just talking about, like, the, the boy. Huh. Um, okay, let's equip Vex here. Oh, right! You can't actually equip him with the, with the Masamune yet. He's not, like, wielding it yet. It's not the right time. <laughs> Fro 
frog pug. Oh my god, we got frog pug and we got the pog frog. That's awesome. <laughs> Everybody loves frogs. It's just a, it's just a, a constant. This is a 3D platformer with a fish and cat help each other in water and on land. This is called first person puzzler. Okay. Nice. Um, if you go do the thing first. Frog's walk cycle. Yeah, if you could call it that. <laughs> if you if you go uh, like start the the Magus thing first, um, you will get a little message of like. Um, oh no no okay it's. You go do the thing. Um, you fight enemies and they're resistant to all but magic. And then you use magic, and Frog goes, Oh wow, you guys use magic? And, and and then your other party member says something along the lines of like, Oh yeah, we didn't take him to meet Specchio so he can get magic. Just sort of like, putting the putting the thought back in your head like, Yeah, I know I know this is all dramatic and, and you know, you want to go fight Magus right away, but like, we haven't gotten him magic. <laughs> Listening in the car on my way home. Nice, Sriracha. Good, okay. Um... Now there's a weird fellow. Looks like his power is water. And a frog, who would've guessed? Ipso facto minimo magico. Mayo cannot learn magic. Next, learn to use magic. You think the party members you leave behind here experience time passing? You think you're back in a snap? That's a good question. I feel like with the end of time being what it is, I don't know if we can like fathom what it feels like to be like in the end of time. I don't know. That's that's kind of a you know a non-answer, but like. It, it would probably be more like, yeah, like us being back in a snap. Um, okay, let's... Oh, right, we have to have Vex in our party right now. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to beat Specchio, but actually, I think I already beat Specchio in this form, right? Yeah, I think I already did. So let's, uh... If I don't play along. Yeah, exactly. I said that and then I was like, wow, what a what a like nothing answer that was. <laughs> um Okay. Now that we've got him some water magic. Like these <laughs> bird goblins. For the umpteenth time. Bubble breath dual tech and sword stream. Is is bubble bubble breath is the one let's see, uh Yeah, drop mayo on an enemy. <laughs> That's a fun one. Nice meeting, Tepeg. Good to meet you. Okay. Oh, there is a there is a fun thing we can do real quick before we before we actually continue. Um, yeah, in this area, a strange monster came here came here drinking not long past, mumbling about Queen Lean this and Masamune that. That sure was an ugly. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, 
Such a magnificent frog. Sure to be a great hero or, or chancellor someday. <laughs> he changes his tune once you have uh, once you have frog back in the party. Yeah, we uh, okay. He just noticed frog was here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He might be. He might be a few cups in. Okay. So over here, magic cave. One more flashback. Ah! Stop that! Oh no, it's Cyrus, run! I always thought these little purple-haired kids were weird. <laughs> As a kid, I thought they were like monsters. <laughs> Thank you, Cyrus. When there are times when a man must stand and face the things that trouble him. But it hurts to be hit. I cannot hurt another, not, not even them. Spins around. You're too soft, Glenn. I like this sprite of Cyrus. It, it like, it makes him seem mysterious. You know, you don't really get to see his face as an adult. Glenn, I've decided to join the knighthood. I thought as much. You'll be a fine knight, I'm sure of it. Won't you come with me? I, I cannot. But why? You're better. You're you're a better sword than I. You always have been. I haven't the nerve it takes to be a knight. In a real battle, the fear would take me. Zenon Bridge. And uh, and so it did. Yeah, the DS version is very good. I'm playing it on stream now mostly for the updated translation, which I, I like a little better. The badge. The hero's badge. The Masamune. If you please. <laughs> he stabs it into the ground. Like, I meant hand it to me, but okay. My name is Glenn. Long have I carried Cyrus's hopes and dreams, and now I bear the Masamune as well. Henceforth, I claim them as my own. I shall slay the fiend lord, Magus, and restore our honor. Here we go. I dropped it in the ground. Yeah, and he just straight cuts open a mountain. Robo shakes in fear. <laughs> that little frog noise. That little frog noise at the end is everything. Oh, yeah, I, I actually I have the anime cutscenes turned off. Um... I I do I do like them, but I think they're they're a little bit like distracting. I don't know. I like I, I do love the original sprite work. Maybe I'll post the um, the anime cutscenes in the Discord or something when we're done. Oh. 
more enemy in a stream of pain. That's an awesome uh, description for that. Rocking out to frogs, dude. You get both? Yeah! It's true. It cuts to the cutscene, and then it cuts back, and you watch the sprite version after. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like that's a little weird. I understand why it, it works that way, but, you know. Like, you watch it and then you watch it again. Let's not miss anything, yeah. Uh, will laser spin once again just take out all the enemies? <laughs> That's following me. Yeah, I guess it is, but you know, that's not too weird. We're in a we're in a cave, right? So Look at these guys! Going crazy. Oh my goodness. A message is scrawled in blood here. Beware the jugglers in the fiend lords keep. Strike them and they tighten their defense against blows. Cast spells upon them and they strengthen their defense against magic. You know what's funny? How does that guy know that? They're they're not supposed to be able to use magic, right? How does he how does he know like about casting spells? <laughs> Good boy. Yeah. That was the one guy who could use magic and he's dead now. This is it. Fiend Lord's Keep. I know, <laughs> Magus really has a sense of style. There are elemental skills that act like magic? Actually, that's true. I guess he could be talking about that. Yeah, he did say cast spells, but yeah. Oh, um, there's, uh, there's nothing here. Is this our treasure? Hee <laughs> hee. Look, everyone who sees that on first place thinks I'm going to fight that later. Oh, that's funny. I've never thought that. Hey, yo, don't waste your energy. Vex, you're safe. Redhead, so this is where you've been since the fair. You had me worried sick. Oh, look, all of our friends are here in this creepy castle with no music. Oh, look, even Sriracha's here. Hi. Hello, how are you? Doing great. How are you? Good. Yeah. <laughs> Hee hee. <laughs> yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Can I have this? Okay. Yep. He didn't care. Let's play. Hee hee. Real, real human beings. <laughs> Little sword on the wall there. Ooh. Chloe living in a castle identical to that except to send you a fish in that post. <laughs> oh, well, now there's a save point, I guess, so we can... Oh, it was a trick! Yeah. The music starts. Ozzy! Welcome, Glenn, or should I say Sir Froggy? <laughs> Never expected to see you here. Are those your replacements for Cyrus? Lord Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. After you take it up with the Master Swordsman Slash, and flee the magician, that is. All right. Ah! 
And all 100 beasts in this keep, of course! Does anyone survive this? Nope. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, a couple of them did, interesting. Yeah, the bat the bat doesn't like fighting, I guess. The bat runs away when we fight stuff. Happy dog. <laughs> Six down ninety-four to go. Yeah, has anyone actually counted? Are there actually a hundred? An Ozzy appears and goes near him. Oh yeah. Mayo, don't waste your energy. I'm only going to disassemble you anyway. Oh no. It's healing them, even though they haven't taken any damage. Chrono, chrono Compendium counted. That makes sense. Oh, see, he, he healed from the shadow. Uh, by the way, did I... Yeah. We can equip him now with the hero's badge, which boosts the critical hit rate, specifically of the Masamune. Which, by the way, has an enormous attack stat. Look at that, 75. Okay, you can do that. You feeling okay? Uh, you, you, just... need, you need some. You need some love. You need oh. a BRB screen. Yes, you can smell it in my mm -hmm. breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm jealous. I was gonna offer you some, but I was like, I don't know if I have time. Because I'd already placed my order. Oh, that's okay. Or I wasn't even sure if I was gonna do any both. Yeah. That's alright. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be fun. Just kind of feeling off. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to interrupt. Are you here? I don't want to interrupt. Are you just nervous about your appointment? I Oh yeah, what do you got? I'm really hoping they have it. They don't always have it. Sorry, by the way, the music. <laughs> Is this super loud? Oh, it's just really creepy. It's just oh. like the creepy Magus Castle music. With, like nice. laughter in the background and everything. Like... <laughs> I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get oh yeah. Uh, need to buy some olive milk boots. <laughs> oh, there's so much love in the chat. <laughs> I don't think I got to say hi to... We got Someone leaning on the creepy chord on the piano, yeah. <laughs> they held the sustain pedal. Vex, you're safe. That will not do at all. Mm. Cute manic trick. Let me let me get closer to see that. Oh, you guys have. <laughs> Annihilation zone. I don't really want to play that. Pickles. Annihilation zone. Who would have thought? <laughs> They're evil pickles. This is 
where you've been since the fair. You had me worried sick. You've been very naughty. I think you'll have to die. <laughs> totally normal thing for your mother to say. <laughs> Every, everyone fears that their mother will say that to them. Love a one turn battle. That's 21 down. Oh no. Here he is. The magician flea, I presume. He just sits there and does nothing, dies to the very first attack, and just zeroes out the MP of whoever hit him first. What a boss. That was not Flea. Where is the true one? Tee hee hee. I'm here. Right here. Oh my god, it was the bat all along. Greetings, little green one. Who is this person? She's a powerful magician. Do not lower your guard. Fee Flea is not the mere woman she sees. Yes, yes. I'm a man, after all, right? But its exterior is clearly that of a female. Tee hee hee, man or woman, it's all the same. Powder, power is beauty, and I'm deliciously strong. Poor little froggy. You must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone, and to be turned into something so hideous. How dreadful! But since you brought your new friends over to play, let me show you all a good time. Mayo, no! <laughs> this is... He's from a different time, okay? <laughs> Oh shoot, uh... Hold on. Uh, I need to give him... an ether. Rainbow Beam blind! I think blind makes your basic attacks not work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Flea, Flea has it right. Man, woman, it's all the same. Uh, okay. No! Oh! I, okay. That was, a, that was a waste. Forget, it's not like a revive. It won't just, like, auto-target the one you need. Uh, does X-Strike work? Flea's Japanese name was... Oh, yeah. We got it backwards here. Very low HP. <laughs> Lick the robot! Good job. <laughs> Robo, why are you helping her? Stop that. Okay, so he's confused, which means he's just gonna randomly attack. Okay, magic kind of doesn't work. I think we just, I think we just need to attack. That's why she's using AOE blind, which I don't think is working on anybody. No, don't ah! <laughs> and that wasted frog's turn too. I'm running out of these. This magic work. Oh boy, poison. Mayo poison. Oh no, not confused. I got, I got it on standby. Yep. Oh my god, don't waste your turn critting your friend for exactly his HP. Oh, Don't do that. Is that gonna instantly down him again? Yep. 
Yep, it is. That's great. She farted and it grossed out the robot. Okay, now he's blind. Oh, did that just- yeah, it did. Okay, great. Uh... Just, just attack. I think we're just not attacking enough. Just kill her. Frog launcher! That's a cool one! Poison. Gonna, is this gonna wake up, Reb? Yeah, okay. Yeet. The look flees heart magic. Oh no. I'm running out of these. Well, I'm not running out of revives. Wait, not magic. Oh, darn it. I just- I used something. Oh, no. This- this downs frog again. Chrono, please stop being seduced. Oh, no. What's up, Colbridge? Oh, no! Oh my god. We're just doing the revive dance right now. Did she get that on revenge? Kill her! out of revives. This is pretty brutal. Is that gonna down both of them? Yes. Yep, this is pretty bad. Uh, I think I'm out of revives. Kill her! Oh no. I'm just- I, I just have to try to kill her at this point. Miss! Amazing. Oh, I have, a, I have Tackle. I should use that. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll live. Try, let's try using my, my last two revives. Poison cloud. Okay, last revive. Oh. 
Oh my god, we got her. Okay. But, but I'm so beautiful, Lord Magus. We get one magic tab for that one. Okay. Okay, let's, uh... Use some text so we can definitely get out of here. And then, uh, and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go buy some items and come back. Okay, but first we're gonna... You want our treasure? Yes. Okay, but first, play with us. They're goop monsters. Uh, are they immune to shadow or, or weak to shadow? Let's find out. Oh, that kills me. What is six um, Barrier sphere. That's right, there are items that, like, reduce magical damage by a third. Okay, goodbye. Uh, first of all, let's save. Okay. Sudden change in mood music. Yeah, because I left the the spooky castle. You know what? I'm running. I don't care. <laughs> okay. All right. We're we're clear. one of these. And buy some of these, too. And these. Okay. We are good. My thanks. Uh, and we can use one of the shelters as well. Maybe we should change out the party. Yeah, you know what? Let's... Get Soraya back in here. I need my OP AoE heal. Save again. Oh, and I need to change people's equipment. Actually, she's. Wait, did Robo have. Oh, was Robo just wearing terrible armor that whole time? Is that why? That's probably why. Oops. Yeah, I think he was he was wearing the iron stuff. Never bothered to give him anything better. Okay, hold on. Now you know what? Let's let's do this for a little while.
Maybe we can learn the tech ice water, which is pretty funny. Dance, dance, the god of all fiends is born tonight. Ah, the sacrifice has arrived. Nope, he is not resistant to physical. I'll probably give her the silver stud, now that I think about it. There we go, ice water. <laughs> Very funny. Um, ice water. Bathe all enemies in an icy shower. <laughs> okay, let's put it on you. Let's give you a counter attack rate, that's usually pretty great. Free damage. And then Silver Stud. Even death does not stop your lust to kill one another. Such foolish creatures you humans. Try it. Ice water. <laughs> there it is. Some icy water. Nice. Nicely iced. They got they got nothing to say. Please help us escape from this eternal suffering! Okay. You want some ice water? Would that, would that help? I feel like it would. Seems you freed my undying slaves. Such insolence. It has been ages, Slash. I love that it lets you, like, heal up if you want before the fight. Now oh, we're good. I must admit, I had not even dreamed you would find the courage to come here. Had Cyrus not been with you the last time, your fate would have been the same as all the others. But I'm sure you'd have fit right in with those skeletal servants of mine. Jab, lunge, thrust! There we go, Ice Sword does a bit of damage. Apparently not as much damage as the Masamune, though. Yeah, it was, it was Soy Sao, right? Because <laughs> they, they couldn't fit Soy Sauce, I think. Whoa, rumor outside. I wonder if her basic attack actually does more, because I think he's resistant to magic. Nope. <laughs> her ice does a lot more. Jab, lunge, thrust! You can see he's doing that with his hand, because he doesn't actually have his sword right now. Burning uppercut. Cold out there. Can't let the heat 
ですけど。Yeah, one final little revenge attack. You've some prowess for the first time in ages. Perhaps I'd best employ all of my own as well. And you without Cyrus, you've no hope! Alright, here we go. Let's do an aura whirl. You can use、uh, the wind slash. That's my move. Nice, we got the counter attack. I know a Twitch user called Wind Slash. <laughs> Useful move. Oh, he's immune to magic now. Uh oh. Nope.、Oh, uh. oh, I probably should have cured somebody with her turn. Oh well. He seems shocked. Just her, so we can use another aura whirl. I love that, like, conceptually, that is Redhead flinging Sriracha's aura, like, around his sword. Definitely some weirdness going on there. Nice, Crispy. Is that any good? Nice, 350. That's more than his max health. Good counter. Hey, look at this. Everybody's at full. You love to see it. Alright, well, you ruined it, Slash. Crit. Ah. <laughs> oh well. 50 damage is 50 damage. Classic slash. It's okay if you get over the fact that the skills are all gotcha pulls. I guess that's kind of what you signed up for, but yeah. Yeah, this, this is going much better. Without having to dip into the item pool. Yeah! That one's a、uh, yes indeed <laughs> in the other translation. Which doesn't make any sense. I think we could probably just use an aura for this. Yeah! Okay, well, I guess I should have used Cure. <laughs> yeah! Please stop yawing, Redhead. He's gonna die! Oh, okay, we got it. Never mind. Unbelievable! But to fall fighting for Lord Magus, there could be no greater honor. Actually, get the slasher there. Which is a better sword for Red that ups his speed! Heck yeah. Alright, we can use the shelter real quick. <laughs> Once again, the save point is a trick. This time it's like a teleporter?
Unfortunately, the game comes up premium currency for, like, candy. Okay, yeah. That's good. Battle music doesn't end here, since it's kind of a gauntlet. Try some ice water. Oh, he said, uh, I, uh, I always thought that uh, sounded like a robot dog going like, no. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're no longer counting. That's okay. We'll just believe them that there's exactly a hundred. <laughs> They're just using the heel even though there's no reason to. Oh no. Oh, magic heals them. Okay, whoops. Should have done that in the opposite order, but whatever. Annihilation zone. See, Sriracha said those were pickles when they're very obviously potatoes. Okay, she couldn't see the screen very well. Green potatoes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Duke. Oh, Duke. What's up, TD Mender? Click your own name and you can see how long you've been following. Wow, can you see somebody else's follow age even if they're not, uh, even if you're not a mob? It's kind of funny. Pickles or potatoes. Thank you for the clip, too. Almost four years, yep. Yeah, it was in March. Um, okay. Wait, was that? That was not it, right? Okay, let's, let's just... Let's just use this time to uh, do a little of this. Wow, Cure, um, with the Silver Stud, Cure only uses one MP, so there's no reason to use Aura anymore. Excuse me, I'm just gonna grab this real quick. The Mist Robe. That's, uh, that's ladies only, yeah. Nice! Look at that, 54. A robe that produces mysterious mist. That sounds like it'd be really, uh, unfortunate. I feel like that'd be not good. So, you've made it! Slash! Flee! Pardon, Zazi, they cannot help you anymore. You fly eating tongue lick <laughs> Oh! Ozzy's in a pickle! All right, Pickles, confirm. You'll not escape us. 57 down. Oh, boy. Welcome! Dark Mail. Ooh, it gives extra magic defense. Yeah, not bad. How is this? <laughs> Couldn't you have gotten one of your lackeys to do that for you? Oh, you can see there. Uh, that hurts the whole party for like a percentage. <gasps> ah, ee, what impossible? 
a death claw. Not to be confused with the fallout enemy. A an attack arm employing fearsome claws. You can hide here to avoid uh, starting the battles. Um, let's see if we can remember exactly how to do this. Nope. Ah! <laughs> One of these days we'll get that first try. I have no idea how to do my tally now thanks to Donkey Kong area. Yeah, that's fair. Oh yeah, and then there's this like optional area too. <laughs> That's always satisfying. So, this save point is an enemy? I don't know how many monsters were on the stairs. And they move around really fast. And they're like highly resistant to everything. And they're named question marks. Can they even hurt you? I just realized, I don't think these things can hurt you. I don't think they have like an attack. <laughs> I don't think I ever like realized that. Lapis and mid -ether. Lapis actually is very good because it heals the whole party, right? Um, yeah, 200 HP to all party members. Very good item. Barrier Sphere, a shelter. Okay, so that one's the teleport back up. Uh. Oh! Wait, really? Oh. I went through that one last time. But I think it's always... It's not always the same one to get back up. Oh, that's right, they reshuffle it. More of a lull, I waste your time, enemy. I guess so. like experience and tech points and gold for beating them. Kind of funny. Also, was there? Yeah, I saw that. Magic capsule. Nice. I guess you don't want to skip this area. I don't know a trick. Yeah? Wait, can you tell which one it is? Oh yeah, that, this one, by the way, was an actual save point. Which you could just use if you want. Teleport is always the opposite of the real one. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Uh. Oh my god. Okay, try it again. Ha! Ooh! Ha! He! What? Impossible! Happy birthday part two! Thanks. Yeah. Oh, you got me. And we got the outlaw and the, the juggler. Magic guard, weak against physical attacks. Physical guard, weak against magic attacks. Yeah, this is the one we had the note about.
you gotta alternate to beat those guys. It's really funny um, that there's a note about those guys. Oh yeah, Vex learned. Ow. Um, because that means that they're like, they were super annoying to the playtesters. And they had to like, include a special note about how to defeat them. Yeah, you don't want to fight those roly-poly guys, because when they explode, they, they bomb you. Ooh, haste. Haste is a, is a very, very good spell. You want to fight us one on three? No, you don't. Haste cuts uh, ally wait time in half. Oh, darn it. Here he goes. <gasps> Boom! And it lasts for a really long time as well, so... Very useful. Servant is this new enemy. Who are we cleaving? Oh god, that did 2,000 of those guys. Alright, never mind. <laughs> it's a riot and Vex are an unstoppable team. Oh god, two jugglers. Thankfully the jugglers start with uh, with no guard. You can just hit them with whatever. Alex will never guess. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, the counterattack. I think the counterattack can screw up their defense sometimes. There's a treasure chest here. Oh god, all jugglers. I've walked 15 minutes to the nearest one. I've got my own playmat sleeves and a big card box. Oh, that's awesome, Slow K. So I, you found one you like? It let me have some stuff for free because they were extremely nice. Oh, that's really cool. I love having a, a good local card shop. You'll have to take me there next time we're in the area. So, <laughs> oh, you weren't supposed to make it this far! I have a huge selection for playing on, so I didn't like them. Yeah, I was telling them I want to bring you there. Yeah! Cool. Speed belt. Did we already have one of those? Speed plus two. You give, uh. You give Redhead max speed. check out. Maybe not. Maybe I'm not ready. Oh, no, yeah. Um, like, play uh, events like that. They, like, people love having new players. So, don't worry about that. Yeah, we already had a, a speed belt. Um, just 
give him the max HP. That seems pretty good. Said no entry fee. Oh wow. Okay. Probably means no prizing, but that also means uh, not as many tryhards. <laughs> So low. Maybe I'll use some uh, some magic when I can. <laughs> That's a cool animation where he, like, appears out of nowhere. Actually, I think we don't need to use Cleave. I think we can just attack the juggler. You doing okay, buddy? You're alright. Don't you worry. I'm just gonna be back soon. <laughs> Magus's castle is kind of just a hallway of bad guys. <laughs> but, uh, oh well. These servants are red. I don't- I don't think I know what that means, actually. Oh, they- I think they're weak to fire? No. They're... Elevator fight with no elevator, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I'm so I don't know why. Oh, lightning too. Yeah, it's 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 like nerve wracking a little bit to go to a go to a new shop. I get that. Ah, woo, me, Ozzy, your time is nigh. Hey, <laughs> Lord Mega should have finished summoning Lavos by now. I won't be defeated by you. I won't. No attack can pierce my barrier. I'm invincible. Got a barrier. Maybe we can break it. What are you aiming at, you imbecile? Oh no. Okay, maybe it's weak to magic. Maybe we can hit it with some water. Is he even a cute worker? Oh my god, this place is perfect. <laughs> nope. What are you aiming at, you imbecile? Well, uh, there is question marks. Maybe I should attack that. Oh, he's healing. He healed for five. Wah! <laughs> Missed me! Oh, alright. Uh, how about this one? Where do you think you're aiming? Missed me! Wow, it's a good thing we weren't standing in any of those trap doors. Yeah, we named we've we've named um everybody that we can name now. Huh? <laughs> that was a breeze. Time is our enemy now. We must hurry to Magus. Um, yeah, so I named uh, the Princess Sriracha, named the Inventor Slowke, um, I named the Robot Mayo, and I named... Um, I named the Prehistoric Chief um, Dama. Dang it, I always, I always forget which one's the real one. Shelter up here. Do a quick save. The Fiend Lord's Keep. If you wait for them to all gather up, you can fight them all at once. Let's check out Lightning 2. Nice. 
Yeah, there's one more party. There's an optional party member, but I won't be picking them up this time. There you go. Quick little burst of XP. Dal Zumo Faraloliera. Cast open the gates that lie betwixt heaven and earth. In exchange for the life of this world. There he is. Magus! Ah, uh, that frog of so many days ago. How have you fared since last we met? Well enough. I owe you my gratitude. This form has been a blessing in disguise. Without it, there are things that I'd never have, have obtained. Ah, the Masamune. Then you come for me. Let us hope no others interfere this time. It actually takes control here, so that you, uh, the important part happens when the drop goes. Again, the bitter black winds begin to howl very well. Come, if it is death you seek! <laughs> that healed him. Barrier change absorbs all but light. That one said, uh, Magus' magic defense absorbed by the Masamune. <laughs> Sweetson. We casually move away for a while to pet the dog with my first and only attack kills the elite villain, licks him overpowered ultra gamer. <laughs> Can't wait to see when you go up and get the main boss. Casually drop the controller on the floor, impact pressing the attack button, instant killing him left nothing. <laughs> okay, so we need, we need to use a lightning attack here. That's what his barrier is. Okay, now we're absorbing all but shadow. Unfortunately, we don't have in the party right now. We actually only brought two elements, but it'll be okay. Yeah, Magus's magic defense reduced by the Masamune. Absorbs all but fire, we can't do that one either. So um, when he has a barrier we can't interact with, we just gotta physically attack him and uh, he'll change it. Uh oh. Um, Sarai might be down because he'll change barrier here and do a big attack. Ah, oh, he's going between shadow and fire, the two that we don't have. Okay, he only, he didn't do a, an area. We need him to be weak to water. That would be ideal. There's all the light. Okay, we can hit him with some lightning here. Ooh. Vex just barely survived that. Uh, lightning. That's right. This costs eight, but it's worth it. It'll hit him hard. Oh no. Uh, live, redhead, live! Oh, he lived at four! Let's go. Keep reducing his uh, magic defense. I love that uh, when he uses Hell Geyser like that, the little spirits come out of his torches. Ah, Shadow again? Come on!
Water, there we go. All right. Let's hit him with an ice sword. This is gonna do some damage. Ow. Boom! Okay, fire. Can't deal with that. People will live though. Yep. Just in time for Frog to heal the party. An Oro Whirl and a heal. Just to get everybody back to full. Well, we might not need the heal, let's see. Yeah, we could use it. The creepy laughter. Alright, change your barrier. Ah, shadow. The most you can have um, is three. Having two is a little rough sometimes. That's Ozzy laughing. <laughs> Could be. I always just thought of it as like the laughter of those who've like gone mad. Okay, here we go. We got we got water. Time for another ice sword. Seems too muffled to be Magus. Yeah. Yeah, you hear it in uh, in the castle too. Six seventy, nice. And he didn't change his barrier either. Give me another one. Aha, nine sixty-seven. Magus lowers his guard to begin casting a spell. Alright, this is when we gotta hit him hard. Let's heal up a little bit. Because when he casts this spell, it's gonna hurt. Dark Matter, the Fiend Lord's strongest dark magic. Power of Geometry. Ow. Okay. Redhead is running low on MP, let's not forget about that. Oh, Magus lowers his guard again. All right, let's give uh, give him a mid ether. Begin again in earnest with the ice ice sword. Yeah, sap his magic defense. Oh no, he used it already. Uh oh. I, I queued up an attack. We're shields down for a little bit. Straight up skip Shadow 2 and go straight to Shadow 3. Oh god. Okay, th thank goodness. We still get to heal. He, he is just repeatedly casting the spell. Oh my god. This dude is trying to kill me. Got him.
<laughs> Your skill with the Masamune is that great already. What's that? Could it be Lavos? No! He mustn't awaken from his slumber yet. Awaken? You just created him, didn't you? You fools! I but summoned him. He has dwelt within the earth for eons, absorbing the land's energy and growing ever stronger. What? What is this energy in the air? A gate! You! If you had not interfered! Redhead! Whoa! Everything's... distorting. Get to hear his cry. Just that once. Redhead. Redhead! Redhead, are you still sleeping? Oh, this is the beginning of the game. He'd reset the game. Honey, you'll be late for work! Dear me, I've forgotten how beautiful Lean's Bell sounds. <laughs> Good ending, you're married. Redhead, we can't e keep asking my father for help. You need to hold down a job. <laughs> this, is, this is Redhead's nightmare. Redhead! 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 Just <laughs> being like, shaken by Ayla. <laughs> I love that Frog is just like... I love Frog's little down sprite with his tongue hanging out. Redhead awake? Dama! Dama wants you redhead. Go Mystic Mountain. You there! Fall down hurt! Dama carry back, huh? Magus! Big Frog present? For Dama eat? Perish the thought! But what of the pale-faced man in the cape? Was he not with us? Yep, <laughs> Dama, Dama cameo. No, only find you. Cape one more tasty. He has fled. <laughs> Why are you trying to eat people, Isla? But if Magus didn't create Lavos, then where did it come from? Lavos? You not worry now, you rest, hurt bad. She thinks we just said big fire, <laughs> which there is not a big fire. That's why she's confused. Redhead okay now? Dama busy. Try find Laruba village. Find village, fight reptites together. Big fight. Last fight. Beat all reptites or reptites beat us all. Kino! What wrong? Redhead rest. You be quiet. Northwood fire! Burn! Big burn! I guess there was a big fire. Now we can uh, get into the North Forest and find the Luruba Ruins. Reptites take Kino. Reptites kill all Tristop Reptites. What do now? Reptites follow Dama. Dama, bad luck! Reptites come burn village. People fight. Reptites kill all. You just kind of have to imagine that there was a village here. <laughs> Smoky, yeah. Right, you're fighting him. Ozzy's Japanese name is Vinegar, right? <laughs> Very Toriyama. Name them all after food. Dama, this is your fault. Look at village. Reptites follow you. Now village ruined. Dama, sorry. Reptites strong. Live long before us, so we hide. But Dama say fight together. Dama still say fight now. Dama alive. Dama fight. Win, live, lose, die. That rule, no can change rule. Old man breathe, but dead inside. <gasps> Dama strong, so make big talk. We not strong. No, strong, fight, get more strong. Dama help, but now need dactyl. Give dactyl. Dactyl. Go Tyranno lair. Tyranno lair, reptite castle. Danger, even Dama danger. Dama want die? No, want live, so go. Dama be okay. Give Dactyl! That puts one big fire. Yeah, there's nothing left. 
Yes, give Dactyl. Elder, tell Keeper, so go Dactyl Nest. Dama, be careful. Elder, big help! He's running. You take care, Dama. You fight, so Reptite's mad. People fight, Reptite's kill all. Yeah, they found him, all right. Okay, um... Yeah, I think this guy only sells consumables ever, right? Yeah. And only, like, basic ones, too. You gotta, you gotta trade around here if you, if you want the good stuff. The hunting range. We'll go back there uh, in a little bit. Oh, <laughs> Tried to sneak past. This narrative reminds me of the Paper Mario translation run. Yeah. I can see that. Ow, that dude just threw a rock at me. Get ice watered, suckers. Yeah, what are you gonna do when you can't throw a rock at me, dummy? Giant living rock. Large boulder the size of a small boulder. Lightning stun all dinosaurs. We learned this. Okay, I guess these guys don't need to be stunned. Nice crit, Sriracha. Okay, let's uh, let's switch up the party a little. Yeah, we haven't done we haven't done frog uh, Vex and Sloke. Let's do that. Oh, equipment. I remembered. Yeah, I want to try and learn as many texts as we can. I guess she's got the Taban vest, but the Mist Robe... Hmm, the Mist Robe has a way better defense stat, but doesn't... Like, the, the vest increasing speed is really good. actually give red the silver stud because we'll need it to cast lightning a lot in the coming area. Give her, give her magic. Give her a, a speed belt. Get her speed up to 10. That's respectable. Yeah, let's do that. His top opened up. Alright, we don't have any AoE tags yet, I think. The pink! There's the Ruby Gun graphic, which we actually hadn't seen until now. a bunch of rocks at her. It only did 15 damage, though. I think that might be a fire attack. What's up, Eleven? Thank you for the streak. Your birthday part two, right? Exactly. Glow is just saying that. It's a, it's a, it's a good birth month celebration.
Do a classic fire whirl. So. <laughs> Yeet! Smart chain idol. Exactly. They actually don't have any combination decks yet. Let's try a fire sword. Yeah! The elemental sword techs are, are uh, pretty great. Mesozoic male. Nice. Basic attack these guys. Nice, good crit. Let me get here from the lava summoning site. Exactly, yeah. That's that's a that's a bit of a, uh, a bit of a mystery for now. Obviously, Lavos, uh, whatever it was, woke up before Magus was ready. Um, and it's mere like consciousness. Like tossed us into the into the void, and we went somewhere else than Magus. Redhead, you aren't trying to sneak off without us, are you? No, Tyranno Lair danger, you no come, maybe all die. Nope, we can't turn our backs on you like that, we owe you one. Right, redhead? <laughs> Little nod. Dama have good friend. Alright, it's set to the Tyranno Lair! If you got everything you wanted from Magus' castle, it's gone now. A giant black hole destroyed it. Um all right, yeah. Looks like looks like Slow K needs some extra love, so let's uh, let's bring her along. Put the dragon statue on top. Only only three dactyl. These are the three dino birds from Kirby. But there's four of them because there's four players in that game. Okay, let's uh, let's head to the hunting ground. Around here, there are some little monsters you can fight. And they'll give uh, various amounts of fang, petal, horn. I love this guy. Isn't this guy, like, is he literally the... No, he's Ion Cloud. Which doesn't make any sense to be, like, in prehistory, but... I always felt like he was, he's, like, the primordial ooze. Might be able to get some some good stuff from the uh, from the trading hut. Ooh, we get learned flame kick as well. This frog is actually three frogs. Can you believe it? These guys are pretty easy. Just meant to reward you with some materials, basically. But every so often it rains, and when that happens, sometimes you can find a special boy. Oh, we missed him. Yeah. Like the commercial about beer. Wait, what? 
<laughs> I miss I missed that train of thought. Three frogs? Wait, what commercial is this? Have I not seen this commercial? Okay, let's let's see if we can find uh if we can find the special rain monster. Oh, wow. Lucky. Yeah, it's another new. They're they're here in 65 million BC too. Um, let's try a flame kick. Nice, very cool. Bonus frogs are good, sir. Frog would be horrified to see such nonsense. Yeah. Okay, he's pretty weak. You strong. Here, take! Three petals, three fangs, three horns, and three feathers. You very strong. Take this too. And a third eye. Um, that's that's an interesting one. Third eye is a an accessory that doubles evasion. Super Bowl commercial with three frogs per Budweiser and Ur. <laughs> I was about to say this dude never appears in the spot you're at, but you proved me wrong. <laughs> yeah, let's, um. Yeah, she's got pretty good evasion, so let's put that on her. Um, it, it's actually really good. Once you have a, a high enough evasion stat, attacks stop um, hitting you as often. And it's, it's kind of like being a tank. Alright, um, let's see what else we can trade for now. We have some, we have some faster travel, thanks to Dactyl. Um, I don't think we know what fang and, or petal and horn give. Dreamstone bow? Yeah, we're gonna need one of those. Oh. Horn seems like the rarest one. Primeval blade, I think that's a sword for, uh, for redhead. Stone Helm, you can get the defensive uh, materials as well. Um, I can't remember if the Primeval Blade is better than the Slasher. I think, I think we're good, we'll, we'll, we'll save up. We'll go ahead and equip Soraya with her new bow before I forget. That's a pretty good upgrade. 20, 25 to 60. <laughs> A cinnabar hued dreamstone bow. Oh yeah, and uh, I need I need the sweet water that make you feel good. Who's got that? Now <laughs> like redeem drink water. Perfect. Red star in sky, see even daytime. Red star grow bright. Cheers, Nana. Timing was perfect, yep. There we go. Drink happy water. Go lava field east. Hear strange beast sound, never hear before. Weird thing in lava field, maybe Azala, but need flying dactyl go there over mountain. Hearing weird stuff coming from this lava field to the east, which by the way, there's just a lava field here. That's probably fine. This normal attack will actually do damage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of never does, but okay. Tyranno Lair. By the way, can we appreciate the, the this like Tyranno Lair with <laughs> all the spikes and everything? Alright. 
awesome music here. So awesome that it doesn't even stop when, when a battle starts. Yeah, see, miss. She's the tank now. <laughs> she just throws a grenade her attack. The lava field where we harvest the lava. Ow, that hurt. Da -da. <laughs> Hard days work in the lava field today. Oh yeah, no worries, Natalok. Thank you for the lurk. Oh, they've they've got the they've got the the Ruba villagers imprisoned. Um Stop that. Nice. <laughs> there we go. You're free now. You are all free now. They incorporate dino bones into everything. Yeah, like the the torches and the rib cage doors and everything. Yeah. Definitely some sinister architecture going on around here. I love that one, where they're, like, going crazy. I guess in this room, uh, the normal music stops. Turn key. What does that mean? That's, like, a word that means something, right? We're about to have a feast, and you're about to be the roast beast! Heh <laughs> heh It's the apes! Dama's one weakness is that she has no AoE attacks. She's really, really good at single target damage, though. Dama! Da Kino, move back. Dama, save Kino. It says turnkey is a jailer. Okay. Look at this. <laughs> she squeezes in. What are you gonna do now? Kino, sorry. All Kino's fault. It okay. Kino, take all the Ruba person. Run. What Dama do? Dom, strong live, weak die. Dama go be strong. Kino go too. Kino no come. Dama die. Kino new Ayoka chief. Oh, uh, I love how his his hair like droops when he's sad. Boom! <laughs> Dama strong, no lose. Kino no. Kino show you something. Follow Kino. Uh, yeah, I'll follow, I'll follow you right after I get this treasure chest, buddy. Can't, can't, uh, can't leave that mid-ether. Yeah, I do appreciate the, the, the bonement. <laughs> he knows how to open that thing, I guess. And of course, skull doors. You strong? 
Kino weak. Kino jealous. <laughs> let's, uh, let's save real quick. I guess we could just use a shelter while we're out here, too. Might as well. Whoa! Did you see that? That guy lunged at me. So these guys, you step on this little button here. <laughs> they fall. It's very funny. Whoa. Uh, it was a random chimp event. <laughs> it's like a minute. <laughs> Those, I I never understood what these guys are supposed to represent. I guess they're supposed to be like like open rocks. Congratulations, you. You attacked yourself. That guy picks you up and drops you. Classic prehistoric bird tactic. The volcanoes. <laughs> yeah, of course. How could I be so silly? Cat attack and thunder chomp. That's a good one. The monkey's favorite type of music. Oh no. What, what is the answer to this one? You wanna go, you wanna go check on my Yep. Chimp tunes. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> you can't, you can't very nice your own good. Your own joke. Oh! <laughs> that one was a trick. Oh no! <laughs> we dropped these guys down here. Now we gotta fight them. Lowered by electric shock, now's our chance. Get him! Yeah, I guess they're like mini volcanoes, but they have like grass at the bottom of them. He <laughs> stopped throwing people at Redhead. Oh, are there? I think the red kites are shocked too. <laughs> they ape sideways for What are they doing with their hands? <laughs> yeah, he's just like. I'm gonna lick you, boo boos. What's up, Max? Good, good job fighting Magus earlier, by the way. Pretty great. Oh, I see. We're back here. Yeah, they go, they go fast when they see you. <laughs> These guys are back. Um, okay, we already went to the right, and the right was optional. Drop these guys down again. Oh, I ran right into them. Let's see a, let's see a thunder chomp. First of all, we just strike her with lightning. She bites the enemy. Which I guess discharges the lightning. Dang it. Stop bullying Redhead, he's almost dead. We're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do some kisses after this battle. <laughs> I never really explain how some of these combos work. You already passed my playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> she can take it. Yeah, she's just strong. What now? Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta use kiss. Oh, it needs more kiss. More kiss. No, okay, actually, we're fine. <laughs> she's just built different. She just easily conducts the electricity. She 
She's not like the other girls. She's prehistoric. <laughs> okay. Alright, now, now for the teleporter maze, for some reason. He's a savage, savagely claw an enemy. Well, that heals the, uh, the volcano. Okay, magic always heals the volcano for some reason. Bam! That doesn't heal him, though. So there's a bunch of invisible teleporters here that move you around to random places. That wasn't magic though, it was napalm. <laughs> napalm is a bit magical. We got the Triceratopper. Nice. A stout helm adorned with dinosaur horns. Why is the invisible teleporter based in prehistory and not like the future? Yeah, I do not know how this is supposed to be working at all. Um, by all means, it doesn't make any sense. Well, we made it out, but... Oh no. <laughs> that tries to make you leave. No, oh, oh my god. Reptite sneak up behind you, chloroforming you, moving you to a different spot, and then just like letting you go. <laughs> oh, you know what? I haven't changed the uh, changed the menu look in quite a bit. Change it to, uh, let's change it to the fire. Yeah, fire menus. Um, okay. Oh, shoot, I keep touching that. Okay, uh, wait, how do we even get over there? I forget how this works. There's, like, that, that top left one is, like, one of the hardest ones to get to. Menu hot. Try getting that lock sucked into Death Stranding last night? Oh, that's cool. I wanna, uh, I'm interested to see how she enjoys that game. Okay, uh... Right, okay, now we're in here. Now we can maybe go, like, up? No. It makes, like, a scary noise whenever you get teleported, too. It goes, like... <laughs> uh, is it like something in here? Yeah, there we go. Mesozoic male, that was worth it. Have you watched the trailer for two to keep it total blind? Oh, I'm, I'm, I, yeah, no, I, I'm, I haven't watched the trailer. Well, it's funny, the Mistrobe is even better than the Mesozoic male. <laughs> DS2, not to be confused with 2D, and of course not to be confused with Dark Souls 2, which is a completely different game. Or Dead Space 2, I kept thinking that I'm getting confused, yeah. Yeah, I love- see, again, another great instance of, uh, enemy interaction. That enemy used his attack to kick the, um, the volcano, because he knew that would cause it to, uh, do its counterattack. Let's see if 
fresh reaction on the first play. Yeah, I, uh, and definitely, like, you know, Kojima loves Hollywood, and, uh, and he makes Hollywood trailers that show too much. Oh. <laughs> you thought it was over. And then, Megasaur. No, it's Pterosaur in this game, I guess. One beautiful cool smile. I lived in a world where a lot of people were excited about Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 created by Kojima. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. We're like stuck in this one area. Oh, I thought that would kill him. Oh well. Oh, it <laughs> did. Nice. Is that gonna kill all of them? <laughs> okay, almost. He just needed a little extra push. Nice, we're getting lots of tech points. Um, I think... Slowkay just learned a new thing? Yeah, protect, boost, and ally's defense. Kind of an interesting one. Yes, we can just mash attack on, they're not that strong. <laughs> that looks like it hurts, the, the slam that they do. Or get back to work. Got 50 Oreos of a gangster Mario surrounded by cash, putting up both middle fingers on a 30 by 40 inch canvas. Fifty of of those? <laughs> Why would you need fifty of them? What? <laughs> oh my God, Vex. Oh, I want to know where those are going. Nice. When do you think my order will be ready? <laughs> I think the other one just uh, makes enemies spawn. Whatever. I gotta press it. I have to know. I gotta know! I love how it moves, uh, it moves Dama around like she's part of the flame. Revenge attack myself. <laughs> I'll take a pick of whatever I'm posting in the Discord later. Yes, absolutely, please do. Oh my god. Whatever that person is using them for, I wish them luck. He missed. He missed, but it still triggered the counter attack. God, so many of these guys. We gotta kill him with volcanoes. Ha! 
Bong Bong Bong. Wake up, Boulder Head. Oh, Dama learned Boulder Toss, and we learned Falcon Strike. Falcon Strike is awesome. Looking for Azala? She's just through here. Oh. Uh. Thanks, man. Um. Okay. Let me just uh, go ahead and use this save point, I guess. That guy doesn't care anymore. They, she doesn't pay him enough. Alright. Oh! It sent you through here. I meant you gotta get through me first. What do you think I was flexing my muscles and looking all intimidating for? Oh, I'm sorry, Nisbel. Oh, this is Nisbel the second. Lob an enemy as if it were a stone. Defense boosted when attacked. Flame kick strategy seems pretty great. <laughs> it makes like a bell noise when he runs through us. Uh, kiss slow K. Defense will still be nice and low. Here, <laughs> if you insist. Ow. Alright, Dama, kiss yourself. I think I gotta use a uh, lightning. that? What? I don't think I've ever seen him use that move. Oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, I think we're alright. Use some mid potions. Alright, yeah, we're good. Two things is Disco Kid bouncing off the ropes. Is she still poisoned? I don't think she is. Um, let's try a protect. Let's boulder toss him. Yeah, yeet! Get him! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> That's great. Oh yeah, you can see she took way less damage from that. Let's uh let's try that on on Redhead as well. Oh no. This still might kill even with the protect. Ooh. Okay, alright. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be okay. That's not gonna kill us. It's gonna be alright, no worries. <laughs> Oh my god, the Protect saved us. No! Let me have a turn! <gasps> god, he attacks so fast! We're at like maximum speed, too. Do I have like a better- I don't even have a better potion! I, I can't even like, potion myself past this. Not that. I just gotta kill him. Screw the tech points, I just gotta kill him! 
You don't get tech points if you're dead when the battle ends. Oh no. One more? Yeet! Nope. <laughs> Living at three. But she doesn't get another turn. It's okay, we save. Oh no! <laughs> Ms. Bell killed us. I was hoping for the Tama Glutch. Yeah. Here we go. Let's try that again, shall we? And this time, we use uh, we use protect earlier. I think that red would be more resistant to lightning. Yeah. Boulder toss him. Party protected. I think I think this is the strategy for this battle. All three protect. Lightning and boulder toss. My element of fire heals me. Party by element's lightning, I get lightning spells. Okay. Not bad. Uh, time to use that lapis, maybe. Oh god. She's she's got her like a hammer out as a as defense. Um. Okay, let's do that and then boulder toss. Another lightning. We'll just use slow case turn to heal anybody who gets low. That's a thousand damage around. Pretty good. His protect ran out. I need to re up that. Electric discharge. We're alive? We're alive. Okay, we need to start using some protects again. off the walls. What a goofball. Alright. Uh, I need to do the damage, though. Okay, you know what? Spend around using some potions. fries for dinner. <laughs> Just curly fries? <laughs> okay. Whew. That was a little rough, but we came out okay. Unnatural selection, by the way, is what this, uh, this chapter is called. 
Unfortunately, yes, but also fortunately, yeah. Now back to your regularly scheduled rando fights. It'd be nice if you could quick travel between save points. Uh, I don't think this game really has a problem with, uh with travel being too slow. That must be the life. I gotta get something to eat. Oh! Now two of them. There we go, we used lightning. Two! It's food. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's already here. I'm all right. I'll be all right. I'm not. I'm not stu super hungry just yet. I've I've got my emergency snacks right over there. I've got I've got peanut butter M and M's. I've got two types of pistachios, um, honey roasted and jalapeno lime, and then I have some uh, some like sea salt caramel chocolate covered almonds. And the car keys! <laughs> I'm thinking sushi? Ooh. Chicken pot pie would be divine. Oh no, the, the chicken pot pie uh, miracle did not happen again. Alright, let's just use the shelter here, because why not? <laughs> oh, darn it. You're supposed to press the left one first. That was my workout lurking and cheering. Okay. Get some good work in, Sortier. Get a good work out in? You know what I mean. <laughs> Shocked. Sortier, thank you so much for the gift sub to Boxing Paladin. Open that door. So, yeah, this one opens a pit. You're pretty good. And you can even fall in it. Oh wait, that brings you like really far back, doesn't it? You're pretty good. Oh dang it. Oh my god, two more gift subs. Spaced out base and eek. <laughs> Amazing. Is that My gal, Al Blizzy. Yeah. Oh shoot, I just attacked randomly. That'll kill him. <laughs> Who is that? I'm I'm guessing that's uh I'm guessing that's a bot. Okay, there we go. Finally! We learned one of uh, Redhead's most important techs, Rays. It revives a KO'd ally, um, and it revives them with not just 50 HP. Like, the item only revives them with 50 HP left. Um, but Rays revives them with, like, I think, like, half. Or, no, I think it's, it's based on magic. It's based on his magic, uh, how much it revives them with. But it revives with a lot more than just 50. So they're not prone to, you know, being revived and then insta-dying again. Okay. That's a very, very good one to have. 
Yeah, I'll enjoy getting a raise. Exactly. Oh yeah, I gotta give Duke a treat. That's what I gotta do. I was like, there's something I should be doing right now. You can be seen a little easier. It's already here. This guy. Here. He sees it. <laughs> get some some level ups okay here we are at last the final confrontation it was but a matter of time will it be we reptites who inherit the earth or you soft-skinned apes by the way with a uh, with azala's uh, design i always thought she had like like frills like like a frilly like collar or whatever but I'm pretty sure those are dinos those are like dinosaur heads. Those are like uh like pterodactyl heads. <laughs> on her on her shoulders. Strong live, weak die. Dama just fight. Hidden in battle formation. Hear that lovely voice. You'll soon be hearing more of it than you'd ever wish. <laughs> Big jumps there. Ceratopper, mid ether. Can't sit on the throne, unfortunately. Nice. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're ready to go. Oh my god, look at this guy. You you thought uh, you thought Nisbel was big? Damnable red star, fall, why don't you stain the earth red? Here we go, fight, yeah, the final boss for real this time. Even should it prove our fate to die, we will not relinquish this world to the likes of you. This black tyranno will have the honor of wiping you filthy apes from existence forever. Mwahaha! <laughs> <laughs> they, they both do a little scream. Okay, here we go. Let's get some protect on Psychokinesis. Can I boulder toss Azala? Hey, yep. <laughs> awesome. I know you can't boulder toss the uh, the Black Tyranno. Teleport. Summon forth boulder. And cat attack it though. Oh, it seems uh, it seems strong against lightning. Wait, it's strong against everything. You have to. You have to kill Azala first. Are you weak against fire? Fire probably heals you. Oh god. Oh! 
Okay. Time to use that new spell. Yeah, 150. That's that's way better than reviving with only 50 health. Go back to kicking his all his butt. Oh no, she's casting sleep. Ow, oh, don't go to sleep, Chrono. We got work to do. Oh my god, that hurt him so bad. I was not ready for that. There we go. Gotta use magic on his Allah. Psycho Kinesis. Lowers defense and begins storing power. Oh boy. Five. That's right, it's a countdown, boss. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Three. I'm not even looking if this is doing good damage. That's fine. We need one on you. Two. I need some, uh, potions. <laughs> there's a three, there's a two, there's a one! <laughs> That's good. Oh! I didn't heal her in time. That probably wasted his turn. Oh well. Oh, she's fine. Nice. Okay. We're actually alright after that. Azala's wrath, sap. Okay, Azala's gone. Gosh, that hurt. Um, okay. Well, that doesn't do nothing, so. Do some more fire swords, maybe. Let me try a falcon strike as well, we haven't shown this off. That's a fun one. How about a thunder chomp? Is thunder chomp good against this guy? <laughs> he just absorbs the lightning. Nice, yeah, that's very good. We'll use that while we're using protect. The screaming also, I think, slowly lowers your party's HP so that you have to heal a little bit before the the last attack. Three. Oh, she. Oh my God, the ethic. Okay. She was out of magic. What? 
Um... Protect yourself, Sloke. Alright, we're ready. Zero. Turns the whole world red. Ooh, okay, we're barely living. Potions time. Turn this guy into a curly fry. Yeah. More potions required. Oh no. Oh, that might kill him. Yep. And he's the one with the revive spell. I need better potions. Sure, Dama doesn't run out of magic. Okay, lowers defense, begins storing power. That means it's time to cast protect a few times. Three protected. All three protected, but we gotta heal up uh, Redhead a little before he counts down to zero. That's okay, he's only on three, we're good. I wonder if Falcon Strike is better. Oh, nope, the Thunder Chomp is better. Okay. Maybe we can do one more. Imagine it. Got him. Nice! Two level ups as well. Where did he go? I don't know. He, d he disappeared. I killed him. He fell off the bridge or something. No, it can't be! Could the heavens truly have sided with the apes? Listen, primates, and let it be known for all time. We reptites fought proudly to the bitter end. Dama? No. <gasps> First, a great fiery stone will crash to the earth. Its flames will soon spread to scorch every corner of the land. Then the chill will begin to creep across the blackened plains, ushering in a long, cruel age of ice and snow. <laughs> a fitting end to our age indeed. <laughs> Lavos. Lavos! How does she know about Lavos? Look at this thing hurtling through space. Right towards Earth. Dama people word. La mean fire. Bos mean big. Is that a dandelion? The deadliest dandelion. Dama! Kino!
Hurry, love us fall soon. All right, Dactyl. Kino, hurry. Dama, what you do? Come, Azala, come! No, this is the will of the Earth. Dama, hurry. Azala, Dama, not forget. Take. Take? What take? Take care of this world. For all their, uh, for all their bluster, the Tyranno Lair is destroyed instantly by Lavos falling to Earth. And there's a great and terrible quiet. Sad ending, a little bit. So Lavos arrived all this time ago. Yeah, Lavos, like, entered the planet 65 million years ago. Lavos, huge! Redhead, fight that? Redhead, we go place Lavos fall! She's right, we may be able to do something now. Let's go and see. Right, maybe we can kill it right now while it's still a baby. Before it becomes a world-ending threat. Uh, nope. Why? Is there a gate here? Lavos fast. Deep under Earth now. Now I understand. The immense energy that Lavos gives off must be stretching time and space. That's what's causing the gates. What wrong, Redhead? Want to fight Lavos? Go here, no? Alright. Well, uh, this, I guess, has something to do with Lavos. Dama's no, no longer locked into the party. Um, let's sit her out for a little. Um, yeah, let's go with the original trio here for just a bit. This is exciting. Yeah, it was the nearest gate to Lavos after all. I have no idea where we are. Hold on. I want Sor Sriracha to be closer to me. Well, we have no idea where we are. Oh wait, no we do! If you wait, it says 12,000 BC. Even though they, they could, uh... Decide to not tell you where you are. Protect Up's physical defense in the fire of the Black Tyranno. Oh, is is a magic attack. Oh well. Thank you. Oh yeah, because it's barrier that uh, increases magic defense, isn't it? I should have remembered that. And now we're just above the clouds on a floating island. This is the magic kingdom of zeal where dreams can be made reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There's always a price to be paid. Welcome to Inhaza, the zeal's city of dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. Mm, you are not one of us, are you? He does a good job making the same map interesting and different each time period. Yeah, yeah, I like how that you, how you can really see that, um, like in 65 million BC, it's it's uh, Pangaea. Your most unusual visitors. Am I waking, or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you, Zeal. 
Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. We owe our- <laughs> Sorry, wait, this person's supposed to be sleeping. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the King died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. There you go. The world with, you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only those things which you can see or touch are real. Truth exists in dreams. The world exists in me. You- <laughs> this, like, thing, this, like, doll is talking to us. Do you believe in such things as fate? Do you think it possible our lives are predetermined? Well, and if you say that's none of your business, he just, like, clams up here. No, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is, isn't it? We're the masters of our own destinies. Speaking of which, I believe there may be a doorway of destiny in this very place. The Dancing Doctors. Um... that one first. Oh, hey, look at this little kid. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? You got something to say? What a weird kid. What's wrong with him? The black winds howl. One among you will shortly perish. H hey, what do you mean by that? What's that supposed to mean? That was kind of creepy. It's only a bad joke. Prophecy is completely unscientific. I guess that kid doesn't like us very much. Kingdom of Dreams, literal. Go back to sleep, it's your job. You gotta get three dreams out by nightfall. Yeah, there we go. I know the secret to opening these doors. Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth because I believe it to be so. At least for the present. Oh, I gotta, uh, I gotta use a shelter real quick before I do this. You know who that kid is? Uh, I don't know. We don't know him yet. No spoilers. We just met that kid. Surely we haven't seen him before in some other part of the game. Um... Okay. Now let's try it. Oh, I gotta open the books again. Go in. <laughs> okay. The guru of reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? Uh, yeah. All right, prepare yourselves. It's just one new. Oh my god! a dozen blue tomatoes. Yeah, it, it gives you the, the whimsical music for this fight, which is kind of funny. We just use regular potions because it doesn't matter. We gotta keep them above 1 HP, though. Because... Like I said, with news, they either do exactly one damage or all your health but one. You got a few lucky rolls there. Nice. A bunch of lucky rolls. That's more like it. Oh, are you gonna kill her Kill her before we, we have a chance to attack? No, okay. Did all, his, all her health but one, which is zero.
<laughs> he undid the potion. Okay, nice. They're almost dead. Let's make sure no party members are down when we uh, beat them. That would be quite unfortunate. Oh no. Well, wait, they only get three attacks. Okay. Alright. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine! We're gonna be alright! Uh, that one. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. Got him, okay. <laughs> I think. Nope. Oh no. Okay. Nice, okay. Got him with all three up. That's good. This is a, a missable fight, by the way. You don't get to come back here later. Well, after a certain point in the story. 90 tech points. You're strong. Take this. Magic capsule. A speed capsule. Nope. Yep, and he just leaves. That's all there is to that, okay. The city of Kajar, the highest seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship, the Blackbird, is maintained there as well. I wonder what's within the northern shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. Queen's palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace. <sighs> this is a font of recovery. Rest your, rest your wearied mind and body within, traveler. So that just touching that restores your uh, your party's HP and MP to full. Of all the like, you know. You can eat food, or you can sleep in a bed, or you can, like, rest on the Enertron. That's, like, the fastest, most convenient one. Just a little environmental storytelling there. They have, like, the easiest way to rejuvenate the body. The queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors, forged with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance on the northern continent, but no one's allowed inside the town. Hey, we've seen that before. Eagle-eyed viewers will recognize that symbol on the map in a, in a later time. The Enertron, yep. <laughs> the door to the Northern Shrine sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, lack the means to open it. Welcome, have you come to do business? Uh, one funny thing um, about, about this area uh, that I love... Um, so they have a bunch they have a bunch of consumables, right? And they're like normal prices, you know, 10 for the panacea, like 100 for the mid potion, but the regular ether that only restores 10 MP is 800 gold here because of course it's in high demand. Restoring your magic is a is like a really valuable thing to these guys. So we can finally buy high potions. Let's buy a bunch of these. We can sell some stuff we're not using. Don't 
use your Crimson Blade, or the Iron Sword, or the Hammer Arm, or the Plasma Gun, or the Stone Arm. equipped him with better armor. Oh yeah, it just gave uh, extra magic defense, which was useful. Yeah, let's keep that on. not wearing all the good stuff <laughs> while they're in the back. Okay, at this point I think we're gonna we're gonna take off the Taban's vest, even though we're using slow care. Sarah Topper is still good for her. This, we need the speed up on her. Pog. <laughs> yep, there you are, Slow K. <laughs> Let's see. Anybody have good evasion? No, nobody, none of us have good evasion. And in the vest. Should I get banged? She looks good. <laughs> Yeah, but you also gotta get like the the enormous round glasses. <laughs> Pete, medio. Why is that called mediocre personality? What? What is that from? We need like a magic scarf. Well, I guess we do have a magic scarf. I, we need we need a better magic thing. It gives more than plus two. This two is just not good. belt as well. Why not? Speed is just really good. I just want them. I don't need them. <laughs> Needs versus wants. down to the surface where god it just it just sucks down here like still the ice age down here so it's just nothing to do it's just it's cold and it's miserable but then we can use the skyway to go back to the floating islands where everything's cool This area is pretty neat. The waterfalls and such. Oh, hey, the blackbird! They were talking about this earlier. Flying machine. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume? He's fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You! What are you doing there? Hmm? Those clothes. You must be the ones the Prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll tip his cards so easily. <laughs> Blackbird's a symbol of zeal's advancement. 
Never dreamed a thing so big could fly, eh? Yeah. Huge plane. You can see it's it's uh it's full glory there. We meet the guy who made this? Maybe. Could be. Oh, that's that's true. There was there was a strange old man in the future mumbling about the the blackbird and how he made it. That's that's thousands of years from now. And he wasn't that old. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. Your power differs from ours. It's difficult. It's difficult to describe, but in you, I sense a strange kindness. Are you saying you're not kind? Oh, not that one yet. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now, only the Guru of Life knows the art of crafting such things. And even if others did, the Queen has ordered us to abandon the use of the sun's power. Ah, such beauteous contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud, would that I could be a flower. The blackbird is blue, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> That's the sun temple which you see on the southern sky isle. The sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the northern shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of a tired old sun. Those areas on the map we can't get to. We need Dactyl. Wait, is there something? Yeah, there is. What is that? Hey, what? How do you get that? What tempest must rage in young Lord Janus's head? J Janus? Probably Janus? His only friend, other than his sister, is that cat that follows him about. We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord. Ugh of young Lord Janus lately. Before, he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. Hey, could you, could you help me get that? I don't... <laughs> Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Scala and young Lord Janus. Lady Scala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. <laughs> Janus? With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. I bet it is. There we go. My, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift, too. Yours seems pretty primitive compared to ours, though. You poor thing. How is it that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. <laughs> I think in the original translation, he just says, Who cares? The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Seed. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. Oh, sorry, I missed your call, Sriracha. Seems even they have their purpose. Cool. Hello? Hi Alex, how's it going? Good, how are you? Just got out of my appointment. It took literally an hour and a half because he won't move his head. <laughs> he, well, he will for like a second and then he like, yeah, he's doing a headstand the whole time but he was moving around a lot. Oh my gosh. They got his little heart, they got his little kidney. Saw his spine and his hands and his and his toes, but he wouldn't show his head. <laughs> he was just very comfy, I guess. <laughs> He's gonna be a deep sleeper. That or he hates he hates getting his like picture taken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna have to go in for another one so they can get those measurements. She obviously can't like tell me any analysis. Mm -hmm. So um. Once it's 
specialist they will send me information about how the scan turned out, but it was okay. really reassuring watching just how much he moved in there. <laughs> he's moving constantly. Just not, just not moving his head toward us, that's all. <laughs> Oh boy. I am really need to get I'm, to go home and relax now. I'm glad that puts you at ease. It does, it does put me at ease. Everything looked normal to the untrained eye, so I'm looking forward to getting the analysis and finding out if there's anything we need to know. Yeah. Well. Thank you for giving me a call. I will be home soon. Okay. See you soon. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good call. Behold, that out the window is the great blackbird, built by Belthazar, the guru of Greece. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting peace beneath the palace, beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. Yeah, that resets the book. I gotta do the book thing before I forget. Nice. So wait, is that... Secret room! Obtained an unidentifiable object. But inside is a black gemstone. <laughs> uh, the black gemstone is another very important missable thing. Um, it's an accessory, actually. It enables the Eternal Darkness Triple Tech. We can't actually use it right now. Uh, you can equip it on people, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't do anything. Um, and we won't actually be able to use it for quite some time. Actually, I think that one uh, we won't be able to use ever this run. <laughs> I still had to go pick it up, though, because I know where it is. You can't just let an item that you know where it is not get picked up. It all began eons ago when man's ancestors stumbled upon a shard of of strange red rock, do you hear that? Its power was beyond human comprehension. It cultivated dreams and gave birth to love and hate. Only time will tell how it ends. <laughs> he didn't say anything, but he still wants to sell his stuff. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have any weapons. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. That's that's a reference to something. Oh, I see. You can see it from the. Okay, that's actually kind of clever. You can see it from the window. You see that? There's a window there. So when you go inside, you have to know that you can grab grab it from this ledge. You get a speed capsule. I've been working to fa fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill. And my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. They do so love pranks. He's no doubt hidden them all about. How can I work like this? So, there's a little explanation for why the magic tabs and, and whatnot can be found all around. Games always, old games always put stuff like that that was easy to miss. Yeah, but if you, like, think about it a little bit, it just works. And that's fun. I heard Lady Scala's powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, L young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. The gurus of life, time, and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. We can't talk to this guy, he doesn't want to talk to us. Anyway, let's grab this. Oh, that capsule's not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? Ha ha ha. We tried to steal from him. 
Know you this, traveler? The moonstone could be restored to a glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light, but such re would require eon. None of us will ever witness that gorgeous glow again. A guru once told me that the sunstone once held nearly all, sorry, that the sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted and it turned into the lightless moonstone. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. That's the uh, the secret to opening the, the bookcases. Can you read this book that's open? No, you can't. Okay. Uh, we talked to this guy. Yeah. Those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They've always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting. After all, they lack our talent. Um, these statues are all over uh, in this main continent, and um, you know, it's easy to just overlook them. But I heard a, a neat theory on uh, on Vinny's stream um, that they are a depiction of Lavos. That there's, you know, since they're worshiping this like new energy source, this godlike power, Lavos. Um, that this is what they imagine him to look like. Also, this design that's on the on the walls here, um, we'll understand what that is in just a little bit. I don't want to spoil it. It makes sense. It is the human nature to want to like try to imagine what what the what the gods look like. Yeah. Ooh. This place. It's a little more sinister than the other buildings. This is the queen's palace and the center of the magical kingdom of Zeal, which is to say, this is the center of the universe. <laughs> You guys have never heard the word hubris, I think. The Queen's two children, Lady Scala and Lord Janus, get along so well, if only Lord Janus would open up to others. Even when someone tells me they have significant other, I immediately start trying to imagine them. That pendant of yours, it looks like Lady Scala's, but it doesn't glow like hers. It's the pendant. Ooh, Itchy, could you scratch my back? Uh, sure. Oh, wonderful! Right there, you got it. Ah, uh, ooh, thank you. Discovered the news scratching spot. We can actually go get something, uh, because we have that. Yeah, the news scratching spot. Surely they know what hubris is. What do you think they built the city out of? <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, um... Might be time for a window change. Let's do this blue one. This nice blue one for, for Zeal. I like that. Buta vibes in the music? Oh yeah. I don't think I've heard that, uh, that soundtrack. Uh, right, in here... Mysterious new who's stolen all the capsules. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Ooh. Scratch, scratch. Tee-hee! He dropped it. Magic capsule. <laughs> Zeal, then. Yeah. Uh, I love I love the naming in here. Um, there's zeal, and we'll also later see the mammon machine, which are two words um, that seem kind of like just you know special and magical and, and made up words, but they are actually really meaningful uh, meaningful terms. Okay. 
The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location was determined, we began constructing the Ocean Palace there. The portal to the Ocean Palace is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. That wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. It's as though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it? By what strange clothes. You must be travelers from afar. Use the font, from the font of recovery if you'd like to recuperate from your long journey. <laughs> Do you like plants, traveler? Uh, yeah. Oh, I love them too. But the queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the Guru of Life. He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the earth. Oh, what shall I do? Come on, girl, you gotta grow that in secret. You're right. Queen's orders, though they may be, it wouldn't do to burn a gift from the Guru of Life. Very well, then. I'll care for it somewhere safe and secret. Someday, it just may help someone who loves the earth and trees. That'll be important later. Even Balthazar, who designed the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace, has vanished. How strange that the three gurus who guided Zeal to its present glory have all disappeared at once. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He strives to make a time egg or some such nonsense, but no one's seen him for years. I'm fine, we're just inciting treason, yeah. This way leads to the Mammon Machine Chamber. He's sleeping. <laughs> this way leads to the Queen's Audience Chamber. It's an enemy. The earth is alive, and always has been. She changes slowly, so you never see it. From flatlands into mountains, from mountains into seas. A way may someday open, even to the forbidden shrine in the north, or to the sun temple, but it could take untold. The queen must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. Must, much must have been given to allow Zeal to attain the glory it now knows. This way we'll take you to the bedchambers. Did Mega Mania play this on stream? I don't think so. I know we had you play it on stream, Sloki. That was fun. Lady Scala's pendant was made from the same redstone as the Mammon Machine. Whenever she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthed. Cave story in Chrono Trigger. <laughs> You're thinking of you. So that uh, that design on the walls, that is the Mammon Machine. Played on my own. Excellent game, yeah. Scala! Oh, Janice, you've returned. Is something wrong? The Black Winds. You feel the foreboding too. Don't worry. It will be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our mother. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardons, your highness. The queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh! Who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I fear I'll be... Well, you know the queen. Of course, my apologies. Miss Scala. You only get to see her a select couple of times throughout the game, but she has her own theme. Go away. Maybe I can pet the cat at least. Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. Alphador. Interesting name for a cat. That's right. Lest we forget, Mega Mania beat Hollow Knight. That is, a, that is a good gamer achievement. Oh, speaking of gamer achievements, Eleven, check your Discord DMs.
prophet's aura is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Beyond lies the Mammon Machine Chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of Lavo surging from it. Fifty dollars! That's not what it says. <laughs> that, that, that's a different DM. I, you're looking for my DMs. How's my Amazon bill? <laughs> the Mammon Machine, you came to see it? Uh, yeah. I thought as much. Can you feel the flow of the mighty Lavos's power? Oh, it brings tears to my eyes. This is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. If the Mammon Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made possible. Dream of oh yeah. yeah. Everything's great here in the Kingdom of Zeal. Is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, good. Come oh, on, Duke. That's good. nothing to sneeze at. Oh wow. Got some over here. <laughs> I'm so excited. Be sure the tears are from the air pollution. Raw evil will do that. Old Priscilla. I think she chose to take a picture of like when she was able to get a slight outline of the head. Mm -hmm. But earlier, I could see, like, his legs yeah. and, like, his spine. Uh, and he's then his head was just, like, too low. He just, was literally all the way down here. He's just a little ball. We were joking, like, <laughs> like <laughs> He's excited. Yeah. He wants to meet us. So. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> all right. I bet. <sighs> That's gonna that's gonna have to be it for right now. It's nothing but sneeze. I'll oh Almighty my... Queen, our kingdom will reign for all eternity. Once Red's ready, I'll, sh I'll show the blurry photos of Helen. You're gonna live stream and commentate over the State of the Union tomorrow. Oh, um, fuck that. No, you are eleven. I'm gonna mm. tune into your channel, yeah. and, you, and you're gonna do that. Yeah. Operating the Mammon machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine extracts. Excepting the Gurus, Lady Skull is the only one with such power. The three Gurus constructed the Mammon machine from a reddish stone that had been kept in the royal treasury for generations. The Guru of Life, Melchior, was in charge of the plans and conducted a great deal of research on the nature of Lavos. But now, well, I'm sure you know it. Melchior, the guru of life, opposed the queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it is terribly suspicious. When the mammon machine was finished, the queen became a different person almost overnight, a much colder one. Just between us, I heard that any who opposed her majesty, and not just the earthbound ones, vanish and are never heard from again. Oh. When they... When she got a little image of his little tiny penis, <laughs> she just typed the words "boy." She was like, <laughs> everything was labeled, you know, right ventricle, left ventricle, yeah, right ulna, but penis is boy. Boy. <laughs> That's good. Yep. Oh, and one one last thing here. I wonder how the Guru of Life is doing. What are we supposed to do with Adam? Humans, I'll tell you. I want to be the wind, Masa. Oh, you will someday, oh. if you try hard enough. Our big sister Doreen went to Inhasa again. Yeah, she likes to dream. I like the wind better than dreams! Whoosh! <laughs> yeah, it's those two. We remember them from earlier, right? Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. But at Ooh. times, people's dreams and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made reality. Hmm. They didn't have any... Chocolate chip cookies at the produce, but that's bullshit. They had leading character. Okay, the end. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what's really going on in Zeal next time on Chrono Trigger. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Let's go raid Affinity Chris, who is live with Trilby's notes. <laughs> Thank you.
interesting, uh, looks like an old mystery game of some kind? Zeal's got something going on. Alright, um, thank you all for watching, that's gonna be it for stream for today. Stop doing your homework and play video games. <laughs> God. Okay, um, tomorrow, um, tomorrow we should probably do, um, so, sorry, I can't look at the screen right now, there's a Kung Fu Panda ad that's gonna spoil the plot. Oh. Um. <laughs> look at that. Kung Fu Panda, one of my favorite, uh, movie series of all time. They had raisins tonight, so I wouldn't have raisins to eat. Oh my the god, just eat them. No, the ones are good, though. <laughs> um... Yeah, we're, we'll we'll do some we'll do some uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag tomorrow. Um, there we go. And then uh, on Friday, oh my God, what am what am I? And it will do kung fu, and he will win. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to know what kung fu or how he will win. Yeah, exactly. All right. Oh, and let me let me. Switch over to our our nice new sunset here. What is Assassin's Creed like? It's it's pretty fun. It's 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 very piratey, but it's also very Assassin's Creed. Oh yeah, there's uh, there's our little boy. It's kind of a funny picture of him. He's um, very blurry right now. I can't. Your baby doesn't become high def until the later stages. <laughs> um. 480p, yeah. baby. Yeah, I forget what else we're playing, but we'll play something else on Friday, too. Hi, Kellen! Um, it was moving around so much on camera, but I, I didn't feel anything. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I, I really appreciate you guys coming through this journey through Chrono Trigger with me. It's one of my favorite games of all time, so it's a joy Good to get to stream it. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Alright, catch y'all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.